We first came across uh, the LEP uh, the summer of last year. We had some training requirements to upskill and we had some specific technical requirements that we needed and the LEP were able to, to offer us um, the support and knowledge and access to some of those courses that we were looking for at the time. Subsequently, we've worked with the LEP to build uh, a more robust training plan uh, moving into 2016. In 2015, Mood accessed nine different courses, all tailored to Mood requirements with the use of the skill service money. What LEP funding enables us to do is it enables us to bring different people into our organisation with the confidence that we can equip them with the skills so they in turn can develop their careers in an accelerated fashion. We've grown the team from 80 to 93 during 2015 with plans to grow it further in 2016. A lot of that growth is about bringing in people to the business who've got a relatively inexperienced skill set. So we're, we're looking to target the graduate market and then to grow those individuals so that they have the complement of technical and business commercial skills that are needed to be able to perform in their roles. You know, being able to develop your own people as opposed to constantly going to market to bring people in is a far more effective model. The skill service has enabled us to, to in effect double our training budget our training budget uh, for this year now has stretched over £100,000, um, which has been purely down to the LEP support. Well, we're a small business, you know, and training does carry a significant cost. So the ability for us to increase and massively drive learning and development across our organisation has been a huge benefit to us. It's increased our capacity, it's increased the range of activities our people can do, and it's also enabled them to have a really meaningful career path through our business.